So I, I think bi-weekly might actually work out well. I mean, stuff is moving fast anyways. But I just want us to prepare maybe a presentation for these future events. Yeah. And I also... Guess someone wants, yeah. One thing that I recommend is rather than... Um, because uh, I think the group discussion, like having a question and having group discussions could also be a good format as well. Yeah, open discussion is good. So I feel like that, that sort of speaks to the strength of uh, XR in a very specific way. Yeah, I yeah. think having uh, both, so having discussions, but also there's specifically with hubs, being able to screen share is something that could be used for uh, if someone has something that yeah. they want to present. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely do that in a smaller uh less object space someone yeah. presents something that they made tutorials are great for that like i would i wouldn't mind showing people some of the workflows that um i i build xr sites with and then we can find a way to also record those and make like educational content cool and then some days we also like we do uh, just open questions to the group. Something that... So I think bi-weekly is great. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that at all. All right, next one. one. What should the meetups be called? Yeah, so this is something that came up is there isn't a clear term that describes uh, web. So there's immersive web, there's WebXR, but specifically immersive web could be used to describe the standards group but it doesn't, uh, it's not clear if it generalizes to the whole web. It doesn't. How about, wait, let's make it spicy, like, uh, if, uh, I don't have ideas on that. Putting it out there, what do you, what do you guys what think? What about just immersive, the immersive web meetup? There's yeah. already a thing uh, called that. Uh, <laughs> and, and they don't do anything. Well, wow. What 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 is it they don't do? Web what don't 3. they do? D. <laughs> web three D meetup. How about sixty? That's taken too. So RZR what says XR Hub. What is it that you guys want to do? I mean, what what's the intention? <laughs> oh, why uh, why why is the What's the purpose? To I think we can rotate between open discussions and presentations. I know, but what do you want to accomplish? What would be like to me? The to me, success? the purpose is to connect all these fractured projects that we're all working on. Okay, it looks like that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. it's to to bring. Uh, I like that idea, Aver. Bring the different web-based XR projects together and being able to have a common meeting ground, so everyone has their own kind of siloed communities, but having a common meeting grounds where um, people can discuss the current state of uh, the immersive web and then um, being able to discuss the goals yeah we can discuss yeah, but discuss also it can be opportunities to open a potential collaboration like one of the things i love about what mozilla hubs is doing is they cc licensed all the assets and it's all open source so I've been, you know, porting some of the avatars into Janus and they look really good. And, you know, there's not, there's not been much collaboration between anyone working in A-Frame and people working in Janus before. Why but is I think, that? You know, I think it's the silo thing. Some the A-Frame people like their Slack and the Janus folks like their IRC and there's you know, outside of physical meetups, you know, it just things just kind of happen. It's fragmented. Well, it seems like Janice is bringing in stuff, but it's not like there are other people doing the open web or maybe pulling in Janice stuff. So it might be a one way thing there, too. It does seem that way. Yeah, uh, I think one of the biggest problems is like, although we're supposedly working on open standards, it seems that's the main strategy that everybody uses. Like they think that they've invented the best way of like experiencing XR and then they pull in everything else and then they say, come join me here. And then 
like multiply that by like 20 and then you have like these 20 different groups that all think that like their thing's the best so like let's not collaborate like i think that's kind of like the elephant in the room um like i've certainly yeah. felt a bit like that as well like with exokit um but i think like the whole point of standards is for us to like not have that mentality right and like there's this standard implementation um, of the specification, and as long as everybody implements that, um, and as long as we're working in tangential space there, then the things that we use can be can cross pollinate across. We gotta areas. identify those those things though. Like That's good. GLTF support is one of them. Um, well, yeah. GLTF is not necessarily part of the standard, but um, like once you buy into the fact that you're using something like WebGL in general, then there's a whole bunch of loaders that you can use, right? Yeah. It seems like the theme here is the open immersive web. It's like trying to promote the open standards and the collaboration. And you could call it a gathering, you could call it a workshop, you call it a meetup, but it's just a, it's a community. So I think the open immersive web seems to be the, the thing that's tying all these things together. Pretty much. Yeah, I think yeah. open immersive web is actually that gets the point across. O I W. Oh I uh Yeah. Uh mm. yeah. I mean open... it does doesn't really roll off the tongue, but no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Immersive web club no. web club. Community? How about the D web XR? <laughs> XR I think, community, XRC, I don't know. Open immersion club. I, I just find it hilarious that XR was supposed oh, to yeah. be this term where X stands for anything, but then that just got completely abused to the point where um pretty much everything is considered XR now and now it's not clear what that means. And Immersive then, web club? I like club. I like, yeah, that's cool. Club or open XR club or what'd you call it? Um, I said um, um, immersive web club, but I'm not, you know, something club. Um, okay. 3D web club? 3D web club. Well, the word that I like is open here. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the core advantage of the web is that we have this opportunity to share and collaborate that the web enables. Otherwise, it's just going to be... Uh, you know, people doing their own things and not sharing uh, what they find. Yeah, well, we got to find those things that, you know, would really just benefit all parties. And sometimes it's just not obvious until we get into these discussions. But um, let's, yeah. let's kind of stick with some uh, keywords here. Open, club, web, 3D, you gotta just kind of write these down. And, um, are you taking notes? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> all right. I just typed everything all at once. Here we go. Hey, we Auto got tricks two. point never. All right, we'll Next just one. make some sticky notes here. Open club, immersive 3D. Web 3D. OCIW 3D, man. <laughs> I think that's a, one of the hub's codes. <laughs> Uh, so we have a request from Flexo. Can we clear the room out so that people can join without all these objects? Uh, yeah. I mean, we can always change the scene, man. So I guess uh, I have like an object over here that's been loading since the start. What is this? All right, let me take a picture. This is probably the only thing that matters. But yeah. This thing? This one. And uh, yeah. since this isn't in spoke, it was going to get wiped out anyway, so we can go ahead and delete it. So I quit and rejoined, and when I did, like, my audio got way clearer. Did that kill that sculpture I had made, or no? Yeah, yeah, it did. Okay. So, yeah, if people are having a uh, latency, you might try to just, like, leave and come back. That's what I did, and it was much better. All right. Well, well I, I can always I'm not sure scene. if you can hear me anymore. I can hear you. Does uh, changing the scene remove the objects though? I don't it think it. Probably does. I, I haven't tested. Probably. It. Well, no. Uh, when we tested yesterday or the day before that, it actually didn't clear out. All right. 
Oh, Open gosh. web club. I didn't mean to say that even. I'm just typing blind Open here. Open web club. That was a good one. <laughs> um, so it, should we change it before we keep going on down this list? We'll just spawn the chat and we'll just spawn the uh, agenda and then we'll have more people chiming in. Uh, can... That works for me. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, I got rid of the X. Okay, folks, sir. Parents here are still there. No, no, don't delete stuff. No, that's oh. fine, actually. Yeah. Open web club. Um. All right, let me try this. <laughs> Hopefully, it's the O W C. There's. Uh, it's probably a little early, but sometimes I think yeah. it's almost like redundant or unnecessary. I'm doing it. Oh, okay. Oh, what the heck? Where oh, are our house now? Yeah. Okay, Where everything go. Let's go outside. Sure. <laughs> All right, so We're outside now. Birth. Um, <laughs> Immersion <laughs> broken. <laughs> Where's the dog good. coming from? That dog. <laughs> That's your dog. Dog. All right. okay. Spatial. So, uh... There's a part of me that thinks um, maybe it's almost redundant or like unnecessary to say 3D or XR because at a point, if that becomes so ubiquitous and ever present, like I guess for now it's a I'd utility, just say but. Reality. I mean. There's the open metaverse club that sort of gets across the the okay. idea. Wouldn't you rather just say reality instead of saying something else? How about the metaverse backpacking crew? <laughs> yeah, why don't we start out like a mafia or a gang? Why are we saying <laughs> three D gang? Because yeah, half the world is the open <laughs> <laughs> I'm down for that. I can't I'm see down anything. For that. Sweet. Okay. Where am I? Where am I? What, what about gangweed? What about gang? I'm gonna try changing the scene again. Is that cool? Yeah. I think we're in yeah, the middle. Yeah, might as well. We can't see yeah, anything, anyways. Oh. Oh, there we go. this place again. This place again. Yeah, yeah. We might as well. Got him right, dumb shit. Yeah, with no gravity, though. Yeah, with no gravity, though. Uh, we still have all, we these, still have all these objects here. here. Delete them. Delete them. Delete everything. Delete everything. Delete the universe. All right. All right. Whatever this object is. Whatever this object is for me, never loads in. Format for meetups. Uh -huh. Do that echo. Hey Noah, hey, can, no, can no, you me. fix the echo? Fix the echo. Who's, who's making the echo? We should just, should just rotate, rotate between all these formats. Oh, it's actually greater scalp for 14615. Someone said Snow Crash. Can we take a reference from Snow Crash? No. <laughs> I mean, like the metaverse? Yeah, yeah. Metaverse. Oh, no metaverse. I like this metaverse. Uh, it's just life. Metaverse is just life. Confusing. Hmm. I like Open Metaverse Club. Okay. Yeah. For those three words, maybe yeah, web in there. Oh, it's, sort of, it's it's aspirational, and I think it it makes sense. Is it aspirational? Uh, Isn't everyone talking about that? Well. I don't know who, who's talking about the open metaverse club. Yeah, definitely the open, but I mean, I don't know. It, it just speaks metaverse. to like what we're trying to do here. I, I like it. It speaks it's, to the metaverse. It has a nice mouthfeel. But it, the abbreviation is not catchy, but who cares? That's yeah, not great. Jeremy says plus one <laughs> what for about open metaverse club. If we wanted... Isn't the metaverse already a club? Yeah. Okay, what if we wanted to be a gang, then it's OMG, because yeah. it's Open Metaverse Gang. Hey! <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's got something. Unsearchable, I like though. I like that. True. What's like a gang, but not called OMG. a gang? OMG. <laughs> that should be your unofficial name. I like it. Yeah. That way you can get rid of Metaverse. OMG, like, name? Well, we go by OMG. Because C looks like G. Anyway. That's like your clan name and your and your handle, but maybe not. No, it sounds like a Reed Hoffman book. <laughs> oh, no. How about Metaverse Mob? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, Metaverse Mob. Metaverse Mafia. It's yeah, open go, Metaverse, Metaverse Mob. Mafia. The Ohm. 
Okay, so oh, the... that's even better, I think. All right, we got some great name suggestions. I think we could vote on those. <laughs> the open meta, yeah, open metaverse mafia. <laughs> Did you guys really think of it as a metaverse? Isn't life already a metaverse? Why do we need this for? It, we, the metaverse is here. It's We're just finding different metaphor. ways of visualizing it. I mean, if you're just saying the word to anybody, you have to convey that it's immersive, spatial computing, web XR, you I don't know, know, but about all this. Mafia, then. Metaverse yeah. captures all that. Yeah. And life, physical, virtual, so why augmented. Why the word mafia? Persistence. Doesn't it also kind of like ring with all the, you know, um, played out neon, beat to death, visual vocabulary? Like, like, or something. Sure. Or like, um, you know, uh, what's the obvious giant movie that I'm forgetting the name of that everyone thinks Ready is what the Right, like, I mean, isn't it's just playing to this continued, like, um, you know. Uh, yeah, we can't let them cramp our style. Snow uh -huh. Crash was first. Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You have Neuromancer before that, at least. Oh, shit, you right. Neuromancer yeah, that's the first one. Yeah, those are great. So, is this group mostly the tool makers, or are you actually creating other experiences and stuff that we would go and experience week after week? It's both. We have modelers in here. I make experiences and do I make tools? I don't, I don't know. I teach kids. Because uh, I think a part of I think a part of oops, I'm hearing uh, feedback. Oops, I'm hearing feedback from somebody. But um, you know, but, um keep, if you uh, it, part of it could be like a tour, like a tour of the latest experiences and stuff like that. Yeah, sure. Hold on, I see the tech bar. We're gonna... Well, I can't really mute him. I think he fixed it. Yeah, Kent, have you ever been to a VR chat meetup? Every Saturday, yes. they do a world hop day. And Sunday is kind of the same, where they do a show and tell anyone who's made a world can show it and then they just get on a list and they all go as a group uh world hopping and it's like 40 people and they get a bunch of feedback then it's been over a year since i've done that maybe even two years but yeah i have done those before oh damn what about x yeah check out some of the uh the art chat meetups in the latest yeah you should have to go check that out change but wait, so is the goal to just talk like in a group or to do group actions or the group that's actions the next, come off the back? That's the next of it? question, actually, right here. So, what should the format of meetups be? Panels, networking, presentations, or kind of like how real life meetups go where you have a little bit of each? Um, like well, the way that. Well, the way that like real life meetups work is there's usually some sort of agenda that you're following. Yeah, we want to have some organization. That's we already, we already have an agenda for today, so that's a good start. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I think like usually the way that it starts is like, well, there's a lot of mingling in between because you can do that um whenever, but uh, like usually there's some sort of keynote, some sort of like presentations as well, um, possibly panel discussions. But I think it's important that like we have something planned ahead of time know. rather than. Um, just kind of throwing people in a room and just talking about whatever, because then nothing really gets accomplished. Correct. And like, yeah. I think there's, I think there's enough of that. Like, if we just want to talk with friends, then like we can always just play VR chat. Yeah. Yeah. This feels like a community of practice where you're going to be building stuff and making stuff. Okay. So, um, I kind of like each format. We can. We can keep changing it up anyways so that we keep it interesting. Yeah, I think yeah. if we keep this to discussions, so panels or presentations, and then for things like world hopping, we can break off uh, into separate events that may involve hubs, but uh, that would be separate from this core meetup. Yeah, I think the people here, like in terms of world hopping, it would be whole backpacking expedition across different platforms isn't that someone suggested i think john from you know john svbr guy he was on country's universe suggested a vr day john oaks yeah oaks we should do like a social vr world hop kind of uh trip but that's okay, that's like planned uh 
That would be planned way ahead of time, maybe like... Can you hear me? Uh, we're thinking early May, mid-May for that. Okay. Um, well, yeah, so formats will rotate between, um, you know, scheduled ahead of time with an agenda, so people know what they're joining in and what the kind of goal is of that meeting. Uh, the next one is rules for meetups. Uh, that's straightforward. Yeah. This discover a new name. Well, we've got a lot of great suggestions there. Hey, I got one thing for rule. I just took a screenshot. Is it okay if I post a screenshot of, of this meeting to mark the first immersive web hubs meetup? Yes. We don't I have a name for it though. Immersive I... web hubs. There you go. I, I think we should allow anyone to record or stream or screenshot. Okay. All right. Thanks for that. I just wanted to check, but I think that's important to set forth so that people know that anybody could be live streaming at any moment. Yeah, we yeah. should put that in a, a disclaimer of sorts. They're public beat-ups, so... Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and also, we could come on a code of conduct, which I think... Uh, people want similar things just don't be you know don't bully people don't be rude but we may have to make that explicit for future meetups don't call it immersive web meetup we haven't decided yet I like right. uh open we got metaverse over here the omg the omn osc what yeah, was I osc like... again o open spatial computing club open open what do you guys think about spatial computing? Spatial web club sounds cool, by the way. RZR says, should we license record under CCBYND? <laughs> Lawnmower man says C cloud. <laughs> I like lawnmower gang. These are scanning. <laughs> no, spatial I don't computing think will, many people spatial will get that. Spatial have its time. <laughs> uh, true. I also think people... like spatial computing has kind of been abused by companies already. Sure, all of these have though. No, sure. I yeah, mean metaverse, metaverse more than so all of these. <laughs> no, open metaverse. metaverse gang. I don't think metaverse has been nearly as abused. <laughs> really? Like, that's... It's got oh like three God. decades metaverse of it. <laughs> so much that's anger. true, but also like I don't think anybody's concretely like made an actual metaverse that. The real deal comes to the every company to make a metaverse. Metaverse. I can barely hear you. Well, th that's what makes it a meaningless term that we can use. Oh, well, that's like uh, organic development or, I don't know, spearheading things or yes. just such a cliche. Spatial <laughs> computing is dated already. Something that uh, Avier brought up and something that we've been thinking about is what do we call 3D browsers? So what's the new term for the things that allow you to enter web XR. Um, are we talking about discovering any name for 3D browsers? Yeah, so should they just be called 3D browsers or should they there be a new name for it? Because to me, like, honestly, I don't even think the future has anything to do with browsers at all. Like, the fact that we're using web is important because, like, that allows us to connect on a common, like, level of technology but we're not browsing anything here so is it even a browser i'm on a browser right now though but what are we browsing where is the 2d Content? page well we'll soon it's be browsing around computation in space but that's a different it's uh we're but pulling in things, things from the web all these things none are like of these things are urls though yeah uh with that actually that... most of these we had a bunch of stuff from Imager. That's from YouTube, WebRTC. This is a probably on Almost Imager. Almost everything you're looking at is the URL at the moment. Yeah. The text blobs maybe don't write. In, in order to spawn images, I was just spawning Imager links. Oh, no, and they then, do. Uh, yep. Yeah. C-Cloud says the web is the virtual machine. Wasm, club, <laughs> Wasm gang. That's good. <laughs> Wasm gang. Wasm sounds so cool. It's so hard for my, my um, to move around on this phone. 3D browsers should be called... Engines. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, that's the thing. Because, I mean, a lot of people, like, 
Well, just with ExoKit, a lot of people come to me like saying, like, what is ExoKit? And I'm like hesitant to even say it's a browser because we're not browsing anything. It doesn't even support 2D. It doesn't support 90% of what browsers do. But it's still running the same spec. It's still running WebXR. So you can browse, explore. What are some other synonyms? Um, Go. Interface. Ah. Yeah, interface. It's a portal. Yeah, portal's portal. good. I think I just dropped that. It's a mirror world portal. Hmm. And mirror But what is the point of the group? Isn't the point of the group to create like excitement around open uh, spatial computing network, spatial computing experiences? If, if that's our goal, then why do we have to name our thing so literally like about it? Can it not mm. be yeah, give it a better what name we're trying to do? to do? Like like a like a fashion brand or a band. They're not called music or like good rhythm. <laughs> they're, they're, they have a name, you know? Yeah. This guy has a good point. I don't think we're necessarily trying to create excitement. Like, there's definitely a time and place for that, but... Um, but amongst each other, we're trying to create excitement, aren't we? Maybe. To make but I, I, I think that's... Something dangerous? I think that's excitement. less of a goal. I think that's less of a goal than just um, actually finding ways to collaborate. Like, in some ways, excitement and just, like, people promoting their own thing can hinder collaboration. So I wouldn't even consider, like, that the main goal. I totally agree, but that's why I'm not so sure about this idea of, a meet of meetups being, like, presentations of projects. or I mean, the hopping to different... I, I, I don't even think... Yeah, I don't even think, gang, like, they should cool. be... Yeah, I don't think they should necessarily be even presentations or... Um, or like not presentations or of any particular thing we're working on, but presentations of like some ideas that we have or like things that we'd like to communicate or get more <laughs> input on, which isn't necessarily just a project, but. I get the sense that there's going to be a big part of actually building stuff as well. You know, making that as well, because yeah, you, you do know, have to prove out your ideas. It's a bit of a workshop or, you know, workshop sort of implies that it's hands on and your, hmm. your makers. That's so it's a, in some ways it's like a world building maker club. Ooh, I like Workshop, makers uh, and Atelier anything. Studio, uh... Metaverse Makers. Open Mod. Metaverse Makers. How about MMM. instead of WWW, we do MMM. Metaverse Makers Mafia? <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. I don't, I don't know if Mafia is a great association yeah. to pull into it. Well, you know what Peter Thiel said. What did he say? <laughs> no, I don't. What did he say? Exactly what he called Mafia. That exact sentence. <laughs> Look at us, we're all robots. It looks like we're part of a gang. Yeah, we're a robot gang. My top two picks are OMG and MMM. MMM sounds cool. It's like we're turning the web upside down. We're inverting it. <laughs> we're turning 2D into 3D. No, I, I really like it. It's a good way to put it. Instead of Mafia, though, I would just use Mob. Or Meetup instead of Mob. Meetup, meetup mob is, is going to turn off people. Metaverse Makers Meetup. I like that. Yeah, that's a lot. good. That's okay. That's I don't. I, I still think it would be cool to have a name that doesn't necessarily literally define what it is that we're interested in, and instead is just representative of what we're this interested in. Version 1.0, because I agree with you. Um, but but metaverse makers me that is pretty good. Yeah. You, that's Sounds Unity great. though. Also, right? Like that's the sure. proprietary closed. What is? Well, there was some, some at some point someone had earlier mentioned open is an important word in the, but. I don't know that any of this is necessarily important. Like at that level of, it's hard to say. Flipping the yeah. web upside down is decent. Uh, yeah, that is nice. Idea. The reason that I like Mafia better than Meetup is because like it describes us more than like the particular avenue. Like it, maybe in the future this won't even necessarily be a Meetup, but, but there how, will still be a Mafia. I just feel like Mafia. I mean, I guess there's a community and there's boundaries, but Mafia just, I don't, just doesn't seem like it's a very inclusive word. Yeah. Inviting for people to join us. That's true. Who are gonna I'll, I'll about, agree with that. Not including it's, companies. It's threateningly inviting. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's the open yeah, it's mafia. edgy. Open mafia, that's fun. <laughs> hey, Better be open or cool. we'll kill you. It's only that's... like MMO if we say that. <laughs> oh, <that's true. laughs> Sounds great. I, think, I agree uh, with you, though, um, that it's so important. It's more about the conversation that develops between people who do the thing than what the thing is called or, like, the uh, you know, 
imagine an advanced structure of how the meetings go. It's more about the conversation that evolves as we, if you know, whoever in, in, intends to come repeatedly, the way that conversation evolves is the important part. Yeah, metaverse makers movement. Movement. Are we a movement? I mean, we got a we got a really great gang of people here. I like club because club is just like it's the beginning of something. Mm-hmm. You know, man, that, that could be like a... club because it's it, what was the name of the um, the one with Bill Gates and Steve Jobs Home back Bruce in the day? Computer club. Yeah, that was a club. Yeah, Chaos Computer Club. That's a cool club. Yeah, I really like the MMM though because it yeah, totally flips around the WWW. That's yeah. Another logistical thing is how long these meetups should last usually. So. I think I, that's dependent on how club club. we have them. Okay. So, if we have it bi-weekly, then what what time frame do you people think? Um. Well, it's like 4 a.m. for Germany, so. Yeah, so we should not... We should probably going forward do it in the morning instead of the evening for European people. That was actually something that uh, someone from Europe responded to the event with. They said that it would be too late for them to come. It's 7 p.m. over here, about just about. Um, yeah, our ZR came, so he's a he's a trooper. He's actually from Europe right now. Nice, nice, good for him. Um, I don't know, like, uh, cause people, uh, work during the week, um, and weekends are like VR chat meetups and other stuff. Should it be a weekend thing? Probably. Um, yeah. But I look at we, us, we're all, I think all here we, on a Thursday. I think weekday works a little bit better for me just because the weekend I'm out and about and it's harder for me to commit, but... Yeah, I mean, this is like for the club of people who make VR their life anyways. Or XR, I mean. So I think we can make things happen. I mean, we already have a good showing on a Thursday evening. I was going but watching a moment ago, and I like MMM, but I like movement better, not Mafia. Yeah, this uh, is a... I just want to ask, like, would any of you be able to show up earlier if this was earlier in the day, like maybe four hours earlier at 2 p.m. Pacific or? Yeah, uh, I teach at I that time. Uh, yeah, I'd have to wait till 6 p.m. Eastern at least. Would, uh... Yeah, I think people who are like done work um, would probably like want to be past six ish um, in the U.S. Mm. Hmm. I mean, this totally doesn't matter to me, but it's an excellent point that like people in Europe probably wouldn't be able to make it otherwise. How many sure. people do we know in Europe? Uh, <laughs> I know a lot. In the, I know a lot, like in XR. Um, yeah. Actually, they're like the voices that generally don't get heard, and I think like they benefit the most oh. from um, this kind of. Yeah. Maybe it should maybe rotate because there's probably people in every continent that would like might be excluded otherwise. If we do it bi-weekly, we can rotate every other week. Yeah, I think 9 a.m. Pacific, uh, and then this one, 6 p.m. Pacific. That could be the two times that we so, switch question, between. Is this still going to be meetups and panels, or just projects and what else? We discussed that. What? I know we did, but I'm asking again. We... I think, why not? I think uh, it's, it'd be interesting to see if there's any like shared projects that like everybody would want to contribute to making something, whether it's a... Uh, a web like a special space for this or you know if it's kind of what, what would be a project to kind of tie everybody together i think less in, i think what's less interesting is the projects and like i'd rather talk about like ideas and then okay. projects come out of that okay um like there's okay. certainly a bunch of stuff like that i'd want to talk about like i have like probably five panel ideas already that i'd okay. to bring up um, you, just related to like standards like what the browsers are doing um what I think of like the role of corporations in terms of WebXR, um, yeah. what I think of like naming and how that's important. Um, 
there's just so much stuff to talk about, which isn't necessarily even bound to any particular project that anybody's working on. Or like standards and such. But like, if we have like some sort of idea that comes out of that, then that could be a project that maybe some of us can be working on later. So it seems like but maybe I, maybe the output of this these gatherings is if they're recorded, then to put them on the web to be able to have other people watch them. And I'm actually hearing somebody's. Uh, thing that's really loud. Hey Nick, if you could fix your mic. Yeah, one sec, sorry. Um, but if it's uh, if these types of gatherings are recorded, then maybe the output is the generation of you know discussions and content to put out on a on a channel for people to kind of just because um, I mean there's a ephemerality that I think it's important, but I think in terms of producing things as a as a group collective, I think that could help cultivate the culture is to have that culture of, of recording it and putting it out and just um, growing it that way. Yeah, if yeah, we I have agree. a panel, um, I think we should definitely also plan some panels in VR chat because then we'd have better avatars and green screen. Okay. I'm indifferent to the actual technology used, as long as it's open and hopefully something that's not locked down, which, sorry, I don't think VR chat is <laughs> We're unlocked too close to that. Yeah. So unlocking it? Yeah, by taking content out of VR chat, we're we're using it as well. I think it's, I think it's one way of looking at it. I think he's talking about the licensing issues, like the license isn't open. Um, well, as long as you don't have an unlicensed avatar. Isn't the substrate a closed source proprietary computation platform? Well, how many implementations of VR chat are there? Can you connect with anything that's not VR chat? Uh, if the no, answer it goes is no, one then way. I consider it then I wouldn't consider it very open. But like that's, even that itself is probably a decent panel discussion that we can have. Like what does open even mean? Yeah. Right? And I'm if sure, you like, have it in a walled ideas. garden, that's so, a, you're in the medium itself that, you know, it kind of comes, becomes meta. Like I, the limitations is, of it. This point is actually getting to a key part of whether or not open should be included in, a, in the name. If it's the open metaverse makers club, um, That's true. If we're so open that makers. we can't go to closed platforms, like, are we really that open? So we're back well, to it's just again. more, it's, it's the Richard Stallman version of open, uh -huh. which is, you know, you want to have freedom uh -huh. to be able to change the code that you are using. And I think principles like this, like hubs, is an open platform. So it's just more of uh, trying to define from a free software perspective, like, what open means, and I think open means that if you are having access to an experience, you can look at the source code and copy it and create your own version of that. That's the beauty of the web, so, and I think yeah. that's going to be possible in the future of the open metaverse as well. True. I, I think, think that's the only way that the metaverse can exist. Yeah. Like, un until we actually do that, it's not going to happen. <laughs> In terms of what Kent said about yeah. making this less ephemeral, we could do something similar to, so the immersive web standards are very specific, uh, are a very specific organization, but with these more general ideas, we can do the same thing of opening repos and proposing ideas and uh, kind of opening a discussion that, uh, you know, can be, can take place in, in GitHub. You know, when Godot eventually, like, gets around to some kind of VR, AR, XR address, right? Like, I think that's something that would be related or welcome. So, um, like, there's an example of a non-web, right? You know what I mean? Like, I think open is an interesting, isn't that sort of, or is this more about the web as a, as a platform, per se? We're all kind um, of extending the web to, into this 3D, like, evolution. Anyone who's here is like, it, well, it does require some upgrading on the back end as well. So, like, a lot of us are interested in peer to peer protocols and decentralized okay. web technology sure. as well. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'm not even particularly like bound to the idea of the web itself, but openness is pretty important. I just think like from a practical perspective, because until we start collaborating and working together, like we're not actually going to build the metaverse. Like even in Snow Crash, like the only reason that that thing existed is because people shared a common ground as to the technology they're connecting to. Even if it's run by corporations, like 
everybody had their own avatar that persisted across all these different things. And anyway, I don't want to get too much into that right now. Um, there, there's actually a comment in the text chat. Uh, does web only include web browsers? Uh, things that um, I, I would say no. Um, because I mean, there's ways that you can use the web that has nothing to do with browsers. Like pretty much every game engine out there, like Steam itself, even. What's like, the internet? Can yeah, it's basically it's the internet, but it's a standard set of protocols like HTTP. You're downloading things that aren't necessarily pages, but it's still web. Yeah. Um, in some sense. Yeah. Does I anyone? Agree. I mean, go on. Well, I was gonna say, does anyone have a specific presentation that they would want to give at the uh, next meetup? I probably have like five that you guys could choose from, depending on what you guys are most interested in, because I probably have a lot to say on okay. all this stuff. Like, especially, like even just with some of the discussions that we've been having so far, like what does open mean? I, I have do my a, view. Uh, and... Lightning round with screen sharing. That would work. And we could cram in more. Yeah. Like one of the things I want to talk about is this example world I made where each of these are portals into different uh, web VR based experiences like Sumerian, Unity Exports, Janus, A Frame, Babylon, Sketchfab, and Hubs now added. So it's all just kind of like uh, an exploration and uh, cross linking. Yep, reality tabs. Wow. Awesome. No, your mic shot. is oh, uh, stuck on static mode. Oh, oh crap. Uh, you, Noah, I think. Oh, crap. Oh, Nero, sorry. Yeah, you can toggle oh, the Nero. mic. Oh, Nero. Oh, he means Nero. If, if you click at the very top, the little mic icon, just hit it. It's like push to talk. Yep. Oh. Uh, Does he mean me or Nero? That's much better. Uh, Nero. Oh, oh thank this, God. Can you guys hear me? Oh, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, and we can also have. Yeah, I shouldn't have that problem. We can also have topic specific panel discussions. So, bring in people that are uh, relevant to a, a specific topic and have them discuss and see where people agree and what people disagree on and what uh, people think in general about a specific topic. It would be interesting because it's so easy for a speaker to join in. We exactly. could get some really interesting speakers. I think one one thing that I uh, I'm thinking a lot about is what does um, a whole immersive spatial version of uh, the Voices of VR archive look like? Uh, it's like a memory palace of the whole content, but how do you actually architect it? How do you navigate it? That's I mean, in some ways, that's a project that I'm really interested in helping try try to figure out. Uh, what's this content management system to be able to organize all the data? What does it need in from terms of what kind of JSON is being sent over? How could you use the spatial web to be able to give spatial metaphors for understanding content? Um, and how do you make a decentralized version of it so everybody could have their own version? I mean, it's pretty, but the, just the concept of knowledge representation and what the immersive web is going to look like for translating educational content or something like I have, like a podcast, how would I translate that to the experience of the podcast into a spatial experience? So that's a big question I'm personally thinking a lot about. I saw um, some interesting software at a meetup, a tech meetup, where they took text and then it turned it into like a visual storytelling thing where it was kind of like an animated comic, but it also made me think about VTubers in a way too. Like if you wanted to add a uh, avatar to a voice, but you would have to transcribe it in a way where you separate the different um, blogs between the speakers. Hey, we should uh, pick a name. What do you think the name should be? Open Metaverse. Oh, man, I got them all it over. I like those upside down I'm not W's. building the Metaverse. I like, the thing. I like upside down W's too. <laughs> we just need that final M that's not Mafia. There was a movement, but I still uh -oh. meeting. Meeting. Meet up. Meet up. Or meet up. Or meet up is pretty. Meet up. 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 Meet up.
Uh, What's a synonym for open that starts with an N? Come on, there's got to be some linguists in here. Monopolized dash not. Well, we don't <laughs> want to get rid of That's metaverse. actually really good. <laughs> yeah, Meekers is pretty important, but... Mm. Metaverse, Makers... Monopoly. <laughs> Uh, marauders. <laughs> what is a marauder? I don't. Hmm. An Oculus called Quest. <laughs> uh, mercenaries. What is a marauder? I don't even know. Mercenaries. <laughs> I think a marauder is a. I don't know. Sort of a warlording outlaw. I don't know. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> I think makers is. is... Or worse than oh, Mafia. let's do warlords. That's good. <laughs> this is well, warlords. Probably not going to work, but there's a murder of crows. Like that's a <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> murder of crows. Wow. Nineties. You wanted nineties. Man, you just one up Mafia. <laughs> yeah. Open metaverse makers isn't bad. I'm just not making the metaverse. What, so yeah, that's all right. What's a like? What's a, another descriptive term for it though? If if not metaverse. Makers well, are open already. Metaverse is open. Makers. Yeah. Metaverse. I think no, open is, it, is kind of is not inherently open though. It could be Matrix. the walled garden. Matrix. Metaverse. There you go. Yeah. Yes, I don't exactly. think a walled garden. That's true, but personally, yeah. I don't think a metaverse like that can exist. Well, isn't that Facebook? Well, even if it does exist, we have to reclaim it. Hmm. True. Like a war. Metaverse uh, Makers Monopoly, we want to monopolize it. <laughs> and, and it's kind of like tongue-in-cheek. It is. Like, in some it, sense, we're trying to be the opposite of them. I think, monopoly. you know, the um, another word that we could uh, consider is gathering. Um, how about we stick... How about we have a 1.0 version where it's... Metaverse uh, the Gathering. That's metaverse the gathering. <laughs> <laughs> Open metaverse the gathering. <laughs> What's right? Yeah, there? and then you have OMG. <laughs> it's a meeting, MTG, MTG, metaverse the gathering, because it, it's for, it's a meeting. We'll get some interesting folks that way. Open metaverse gathering, <laughs> OMG. I don't think OMG. Is the exo XR how? Is the exo exo VR uh, exo kit VR ex exo kit XR Discord? Is that the main uh, community, or is there going to be a new one just for this? I think exo kit mm -hmm. already is kind of that. There's people okay. from all these projects in there already. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I think as soon as we make a decision, I'm going to send out a tweet. So once we uh, uh, figure we it out, good this wow. we got good choices. That's when we know it's man, real. Oh my god. god. I think the benefit of having it in ExoKit is ExoKit's very neutral, so... The XR Masons. <laughs> Metaverse Makers Masons. Matrix Makers Meeting. There's the uh, tribe. Can, uh, yo, Chris, can you scroll up a little bit? Yeah, so one thing, I, I'll just say real quick the for, the, for the chat. Uh, Jeremy says... Uh, with topics, uh, making our existing data translatable into XR and making X, uh, data transferable between other XR frameworks in some abstract form. Now scrolling up. Uh, uh, yeah, are you scrolling up? Yeah. Okay, let's see. So just resize it. Open Metaverse group. Make cool stuff. Oh, it's too small. Yeah, here uh, we can. Yeah, I, so someone said asking some women before finalizing on a name. Uh, I think what we can do is have a GitHub repo where we continue this discussion. So people that didn't catch sure. the meetup can continue to add to it. That's, that's a nice yeah. yeah, that's actually how the um, immersive web uh, group basically works. Exactly. Like there's GitHub repos and then there's meetings, which 
I, I think that's a decent structure. So is it, are we gonna are you gonna have like a a link to be able to vote on them via GitHub? Is that the idea? Yeah, yeah, sure. We can that have a voting. Yeah, and uh, that sounds good. Because this is connected to the Exocet Discord, there's actually a log of uh, this chat. So normally Hubs is oh, very interesting. Yeah, normally oh, Hubs is cool. very ephemeral, but this keeps a log of the uh, chat. Oh, that's that's awesome. Sweet. Um, so I people... hope we have like permission to post this. What What do you mean permission from? Well, I don't know from every everybody who's chatting. I'm... Oh, I mean, this is YouTube, so it's public, right? There. It, well, if I post the video, then the chat will be added anyways. Yeah, it makes sense. Sorry, I'm just thinking like a lawyer. I see every person chatting on the, the login Discord. The yeah, no. Nah. What, what Noma just said in the chat, we could uh, establish some guidelines in the repo as well. Sorry, no, what'd you say? I don't see every person chatting in the log in, in Discord that's chatting here, I don't think. It's under the Mozilla the Hubs chat. channel. I'm looking there. All right. I, I said Magic Verse the Gathering. I like that one better than Magic Verse the Gathering. <laughs> <laughs> Magic Verse the Gathering. Yeah. Oh my God. I think we should do a poll on GitHub. Sure. And, uh, yeah, take it to GitHub. Yeah. Do we so only have one choice if we do that, though? What do you mean? <laughs> we can only vote once. Uh, we can make it like a plus one, so people can comment plus one on different names and add it up. What is that poll program where it's just like a website straw you can poll? make a poll? Oh, yeah, straw poll. poll. Do you all want to just do a straw poll? Sure. It's so easy. Yes, it is. But then again, also, like, you want there to be some sort of, like, reason discussion and, like, a place for people to, like, suggest alternatives rather than just, oh, this thing had the most votes from some random people on the internet, so that's what we're going with. Well, we have the quorum of people that are here, and we've had a lot of discussion. We have a sense of what we want. Um, there was plenty of discussion. Yeah, and I think it's, I mean, in some ways, it's a metaphor for how to make decisions, so... If it, it's in that way, um, you're kind of establishing like the best practices for how to proceed in the future. So I agree, but well. where I disagree is like I don't even think that random votes are necessarily the best way of making decisions. Yeah, I think the group of people here is the it seems like the, I, I would feel comfortable with like making a decision, and then if people object to it, they could change it, but um. It just feels like there's something about the embodied face-to-face -face gathering uh, in these virtual spaces that, uh, I, guess, I mean, it's the first gathering. So just, I mean, it's, I'm not the, I'm just sort of throwing out ideas. I'm just, there's, there's, I can see it going both ways, but I like the idea of it being face-to-face -face and just being able to make decisions with people that are present. And then uh, from there, like, as long as the name is open enough for people to feel like they're welcome to come join, then there, if there's more, if the other future decisions have more at stake, then you could have more of a deliberative process and figure out how you're going to actually vote and make decisions. But yeah, you said gathering. I kind of it sounds fun. Metaverse the gathering, you know, it, it's like <laughs> less serious in a way where we kind of lighten up the uh, I like it. movement. Metaverse the gathering. <laughs> yeah. I like the M and M something with makers in it. Yeah, let's let's do a straw poll. Who wants to make it? I guess I'll do it. Yeah, I think that's best because we'll need a name to start the GitHub organization under. So yeah. we can't just. All right. I'm I do agree though that the weight should be given to people who attended the meeting rather than just whoever finds the poll on the internet. Yeah, yeah. Is there yeah. a poll that can? Yeah happen in here is that what you're doing uh yeah we can uh, actually start I a poll can... from from right now I think you can. how do you do that i'm partial to just doing this on github honestly. so right. with with github we would have to open an issue under an existing repo or oh we can I'm on a web. open it under the exocate org we can then... well the thing is we can make another organization then we can rename the organization whenever so ah that's a good point it's not a big deal yeah yeah, I think that's actually a better idea then for 
and we'll be able to give weight to people that way from the attendees. Yeah, and also like um some things that people mentioned in the chat, like you probably want to include people like on Twitter. Yeah, and there's people from YouTube that aren't currently in the, the chat. Yeah, exactly. Spatial web friends. <laughs> That's good. These are all good. Yeah. Like they're they're almost all too good so that like it's hard to choose. Yeah. Um, what else do we have here? Facial web makers, open metaverse gang. Got that. Um, XR masons, nah. <laughs> A metaverse gang is kind of cool, actually. That would maybe convince me of metaverse. Metaverse gang. Metaverse gang. That's pretty fast. I like the stickers are easy to make. Oh yeah, yeah. Dude, it just rolls off the tongue too. Here, I made our mascot. Hmm. Metaverse gang. Alright. I got Metaverse the Gathering, oh, nice. Metaverse Makers Meetup, Open Metaverse Group, Open Metaverse Gang, Metaverse Makers Mafia, Spatial Web Friends, Metaverse Gang. What else am I missing? That's got a hip hop song already. That's great. Yeah, yeah you're right, right man. I, I can get my friend to make a <laughs> make actual music for metaverse gang like yo 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 it's good it's a little dangerous <laughs> but it's still kind of it's open you know so. uh, what are we what okay are we besides me does anybody have um ideas for panel discussions like does anybody want to hold one or like lightning uh -huh. talks or i would do one i think there's two main issues that we all face how do we get these would be panel discussions, but how do we uh, attract more users to the general idea of web XR or whatever you want to call it? And uh, the second one is um, how do we start to go about standardizing some of the um, basically model formats First that you, know, you can have a true metaverse, right? True cross-platform uh, capabilities. Did you want to talk about that? What, right now? Like, no, I no. mean, uh, like, as a panel discussion or a presentation or something in a couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'll coordinate with Jane and kind of figure out the best way to pitch this, I guess. I mean, it's something that Janice has been trying to do for a long time. We've made some success with high fidelity and uh, Decentraland and it's a long time ago seen VR and stuff, but convincing everyone else to kind of jump on that, on that standardization train, including the World Wide Web Consortium, or W3C. Yeah, yeah no, I can uh, jump on that. Uh, well, there was a lot to unpack there. Um, could we maybe, like, choose one or two specific topics, like you mentioned? Um... So I would, I would say probably the most important thing is how do we get more people using our platform i mean i don't what does our platform mean does that mean <laughs> does that mean janice no 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 uh like 3d web um capabilities in a general sense like there's not a lot of yeah. use think, cases uh, besides what we're doing right now for the most part yeah i wanted to mention that um you know it'd be nice to have this group as a bit of a, a open innovation group and rapid prototyping and to uh really be experimental because I feel like that's part of the problem that right there is to to be pulling in lots of data from different sources um, and to really show what's possible within this group here. Uh, I agree. To be able to prototype and then from there start to figure out how to call people in. But until we ourselves figure out what those use cases are and how the open the advantages of the open web could be brought into these spaces, that's the advantage of. Of something like this of these open platforms is that it's way easier to start to pull in all that data so what can you do with it i agree rapid experimental rapid prototyping is very exciting yeah so well i mean that's why i started exokit because the browsers were moving fast enough and they still aren't Snaps. i mean what web vr is like 
five years old now totally. um and just now we're like getting webxr which is like a downgraded version of web vr like i mean we don't even have navigation right which is crazy we had navigation five years ago snaps snaps at that bravo i think snaps the way we can hey, enable can leave that poll on the actual YouTube chat? I, I think the way we can enable prototyping is through having a GitHub organization because that would make it easy to break off uh, repos and say like there's a project that people can collaborate on, then that could be the way to share ideas, but also to submit code and whatever else. Can you leave the poll on YouTube chat so I can actually send on my computer? Yeah, it's in the uh, Discord. Oh. Someone's mic is on. Yeah, and GitHub is yeah, you're right. GitHub right. is a pretty neutral ground, I think, and everybody knows how to use it. Well. <laughs> I like the first one, Metaverse the Gathering. Mm. Yeah, just vote. Let's do it. Um, it's probably also a good place to orchestrate or organize like panel discussions that we're gonna have next time yeah between um myself Jin, and hunter i guess i um or anybody else who wants to i got this meme i made can i open I mean, that link so... through hubs is my question yeah i just did you just click the magic wand next to it I mean, I think it's maybe obvious, but I'll just voice it that, like, um, to me, using words like metaverse or kind of n naming this as a joke, like metaverse, the gathering, um, you know, definitely has um, almost the opposite effect of the first question, which was how could we get more people to take, you know, to, to engage with this in a, right? Like, I think that immediately just puts people off, like, a ton of people. Like, that's been my version of this word metaverse, which is, even though I can sense there's a passion for some of that vision or honoring the sci-fi lineage of that word, I think it's so laden with baggage and history that it's almost unrescuable and also, like, definitely pushes away, like, any people who currently, you know, if you aren't already excited about VR, the word metaverse just, like, makes you that much less likely. But so, what's, a, what's an alternative? Well, um, yeah, I, I'm not good at naming things. Um, the Matrix. Space. Ooh. The Matrix Everyone. Makers. I mean, it, the thing about Metaverse, though, is that it's just people know what it is, and it works. It's a good, it's a good word. Station. And, and most mm -hmm. people don't really know what it is. Well, it doesn't mean I mean, neon and Blade Runner cliche. It has a sci-fi history, you know, <laughs> and, it, and you can Google it, and you can, you can pretty much I see, figure out I what see. it is, you know. It's got a Wikipedia page, I'm sure of it. Um, yeah. And, it's, I mean, it's problematic in other ways, but I think it, it sort of speaks, I mean, unless we want to call it the open spatial web, you know, there's, there's just too many syllables. There's not a good embodied metaphor for what it is that we want to create because it hasn't been created yet. Embodied computing it. club. You know, like... like spatial I, I, web I, friends. I mean, Congress, there's... Congress and sort of club. If you wanted to take a completely different direction, you could call it like the future dreamers world building or, you know, there's future dreaming as a concept or world sure. building... Um, but all of those start to get into lots of syllables and, you know, there's other aspirational things that you can wrap around that. Sure. Metaverse specifically implies, especially if you say open metaverse, you get the sense that you're talking about the open web. Well, right. Here's a question. Like, so, you know, do you think, for example, the LOVR team is building the metaverse? LOVR is, is no longer existing. I, I know that, but, but like the researchers of that group and who they actually are currently researching in another place, but you know, yeah. yeah. So, do you, do you think those people are building the metaverse per se? Like, like M's M Eifler is the, right? Or who, I'm sorry, M's you know, Office of the Future essay, for example. Like, is that human like advocating for? I think the reason I say spatial computing, although it's been ruined by Magic Leap, is because at least it, um, I don't know, it, it it points to these kinds of open horizons. I think exactly the reason my my exact. Um, I mean, it's, it's why all these new names keep happening, right? Like you're saying, well, people know what this, what um, the metaverse is. And I think that's kind of exactly the problem. Like this is the metaverse, us as robots kind of laughing about like metaverse, the gathering in a lo-fi poly kind of thing. And, and I think we know who the audience of that is. And, and actually I think the, the audience for spatial computing is gonna be much wider than just like the people in this room for whom those sci-fi things are palatable, right? But um, I don't know. 
Um, these are, I'm just, I just wanted to voice all this regardless of what it gets named. I could understand if you call it something with a metaverse in it. I just, yeah, I, I couldn't help but not. I think it's something. a good size group that we have in general. Like if it gets too much bigger, we're going to need to organize a conference per se. But, you this know, is a conference. Yeah, but if it gets bigger, it, it well, it's a it's a meetup kind of size, and then if you have forty to sixty, it's conference size. I think so even then work. we can scale by structuring the the meetup. So maybe having a way to have break it off into smaller groups, but then meet up and share ideas uh, in a similar way. Does those are all good problems to have that we can solve when we have them. But yeah. I think right now we're just trying to get a cohesive, you know, ball rolling where, um, you know, the thing that seems to be on the table right now is just making a decision about the name. And so, Jen, did you write down a bunch of the options or? Were we yeah, it's a straw poll already out there. Let me resend the link to you. Oh, wait, I'm not in Discord. Yeah, got, oh, got well, it's in chat right here. Oh, oh are you in VR? I see. Yeah, I'm in VR. I see it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Personally, I think uh, Metaverse Gang sounds cool. Oh, I think that sounds cool. If oh, we're gonna use it's short enough that it uh, almost saves uh, Metaverse for me. Like, it's a little bit more, um, it has more grit than the usual ways people sort of try and escape ethics by using Metaverse to yeah. cover up whatever their proprietary software scam is. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Metaverse it, Gang is like, it's a little more like, yeah, we're actually the gang. Like, this is the people who might deliver it to you rather than someone who's going to try and sell you hardware or what have you. It attracts the right kind of folks, I think. You know, it prevents endless September as well. And I, you know. Well, yeah, if you're building the Metaverse, that is a pretty good name, actually. For, forgive me, yeah. all. I, I, I had to re reboot and um, I lost. So, so um, are we? Who, who's our audience that we're trying to cater to? Because I would definitely support the point that while I love Metaverse a lot, it is very geeky, and if we're trying to get a bigger audience, we may want to consider something that does follow kind of either immersive web or whatnot. Um, I, I, I feel very strongly on that as an individual that even uses Metaverse one in a, in a moniker. So um, it, it is insanely geeky. So I second. Uh, yeah, that, another suggestion. That other suggestion that it be something that, depending upon the audience, again, and so that's where I logged out. So forgive me if that was addressed. Um, and, and I I'm, think uh, we kind of want to do more workshop stuff here, kind of rapid prototyping, some presentations. It's a more technical audience, but also we're going to have stuff that can get recorded and published to uh, like YouTube and GitHub, so I think others can benefit from our work. I think Metaverse, for me, I like Metaverse Makers just because it kind of, you know, it, it draws that maker a crowd and people who want to make and share back. I mean, it sort of implies that it's like this open collaborative thing. I mean, gang doesn't really say that for me. It, it doesn't ex explain that there's that, the purpose of what it is. Maker, within the word maker, you kind of know the vibe that you're getting. You're going to get part of the, the people who are making stuff. I have uh, parcels and crypto voxels in a district called Makers, and we could have uh, like a portal there in the Makers district, but it doesn't have to be main Makers. I love Makers so much that you know, there's a whole <laughs> virtual city with a district called Makers, yeah. so we could have uh, presence in that neighborhood. That's great. I have a question. Yeah. Do we need a new Discord server? We, uh, no. Logistics-wise, there's, like, we can take that offline. Like, because there's a lot of other things there, like maybe Twitter, Discord, and GitHub. Yeah, I, I think... Like, right now, we're just focused on the name. We have, uh, we might need to do another vote, because we've got kind of a split. We may need to narrow it down to the top four. That's, that's why I said, decision. like, I think... Yeah, I think the best thing that we can do there is like one straw polls are useful, but I think the best place is like GitHub um, to just actually have some sort of discussion and to bring in people that weren't necessarily even here, but who okay. have excellent ideas. I can screenshot yeah. these options and then say that there's going to be a final decision. Yeah, I think so. I created a placeholder organization and opened a proposals repo. 
I think that there's, you know, there's obviously people who were invited that couldn't make it to the meetup or didn't come that, you know, might feel left out if these founding, uh, uh, decisions weren't, uh, they weren't around for the founding decisions. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's why I think like just having a GitHub, um, it, it doesn't matter like what it's called now, but just some sort of GitHub where we open a repo, say, let's vote on a name. And then like whatever name we come up with, we just rename the GitHub org and then we're set. And then that can be like a focal point. Yeah. Cause I, okay. I think what, what Chris is saying is valid and also, uh, H Noma that, uh, yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Like one, the geekiness, and like two, like we somewhat want to be taken seriously, maybe, or yeah. or like some of these terms are burned. Sure. People take gang serious. <laughs> People take mafia even more serious. True that. Okay, so should we for the for the first meeting? I think we've you know we've kind of uh, had a good amount of discussion. We can adjourn and move over to a GitHub repo where we. Uh, discuss further. Is there a is there a link to the get hope repo yeah. somewhere? Yeah, I'll paste Where's it that? in the chat right now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, got it. I'll <laughs> link. I'll link to that, and I'm gonna tweet this out if if uh, that's okay. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah, I guess that's cool. Yeah, so we'll uh carry the discussion over there, and then set up everything uh, from there, but also. <laughs> through the Discord, the Exegate Discord. Great. Another thing um, that's worth doing is like generally when you have these kinds of meetings, um, somebody does minutes. Um, so it's just like a write up of what we discussed and like the things that we came to. Um, might be a good practice to get into how we do that. Well, well, I guess it's, it's partly that, yeah. So like the minutes could just be like the chat logs, but I mean, there's well, things I, like that were said in voice chat that weren't in the chat logs, right? I just sent a tweet, which is kind of, I think encompasses all the minutes. <laughs> Maybe not all of them, awesome. but I just sent it in the chat. You can see there's like a link to the proposals and then some highlights and then the names. So sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's iterative. Thanks. Very Thanks fast. for being the stenographer. Yeah. And also, this was live stream, so the live stream uh, in its full oh, cool. in, will uh, be posted soon. Okay, and send send me if you tweet the link. Send that in the if you apply to that on the link, I'll send that out as well. All right. Awesome. Great. Well, it was great uh, hanging out with everybody. Thanks for gathering. That yeah. Was fun. Thank you, everyone who came to this, because this is obviously, you know, very beta, very experimental. Uh, but I think it's a good thing to start discussion on now. Yeah, I'm glad we got, you know, these fragmented people all working together. And, like, it's one of the hardest problems in computing, naming. So, like... <laughs> yep, good discussion. Caching. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll catch you all up on GitHub slash internets. Yep. All right, see everybody. Thanks, everyone. Later, guys. All right, later Jim. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. That was fun. <laughs>